Way back when, a baby girl was born to the monarchs of Sicily. Her mama named her Psyche, and her daddy thought she was the prettiest girl ever. Psyche's sisters treated her like a doll. They took her everywhere they went. The people in the town also noticed her loveliness. They told others, who would tell others, and soon crowds of people from all around would come to gaze on Psyche. The lookers came from the other side of the island and from across the sea. She was that pretty. Time passed. Psyche grew. Her sisters found husbands, but Psyche didn't. Her daddy worried, so he asked the local sage, Why doesn't anyone ask for Psyche's hand in marriage? Why don't you know, said the sage, that they think she's too pretty? Too pretty? Yes, she's perfection, and no one around here wants to disturb that perfection. Psyche's parents were flabbergasted. Somewhere there had to be a husband for this charming young woman. The girl will get herself a husband, the sage said, but she's got to go to the top of Mount Etna to find him. This shocked the parents as everyone knew monsters lurked at the top of the mountain. They decided to keep Psyche home with them. At this time, the goddess Aphrodite was bothered because she had not heard any prayers from Sicily in a long while. She wondered why, so she flew down to the island. She stopped in at her main temple right near the palace. She was horrified to see that there was no food or wine laid at the feet of her statue and no incense burning on the altar. The place was filthy and worse, deserted. Outside the temple, Aphrodite noticed a large crowd gathered. She flew over to see what these hundreds of people were doing. As she came closer, she could see that the people were all looking in the same direction. They were looking at Psyche. Why, they weren't just looking, they were adoring her. Aphrodite did not like this one bit. Those folks were neglecting the real goddess in favor of this mortal? They'll pay for this, they will, Aphrodite said. As punishment, Aphrodite, the goddess of love and procreation, stopped all love, all procreation, on Sicily. It didn't take long for life itself to stop. No babes were born and no flowers blossomed. Famine struck. People, animals, went hungry. The monarchs did all they could to help their people survive, but things only worsened. They went back to the sage for advice. You've offended the goddess. Which one? Why, Aphrodite, obviously, since she's the one who makes life happen. What do we do about it? How do we square things with her? The girl has got to go meet her husband. Psyche's mama pulled her hair. Her daddy howled like a banshee. This was certain death for their daughter. But there wasn't much they could do. If their daughter lived, their people would die. How were they to make this impossible decision? I'll go, Psyche said. I'll go to the top of the mountain. No! Oh, yes. I will do as the goddess asks. Don't try to stop me. This is my decision. I make it on my own. Her parents, her sisters, her admirers all hung their heads in sorrow. But not Psyche. On the appointed day, she left the town to set out on her most terrible adventure. Even if it did cut her life short, it meant she could get away from all those folks staring at her. The next morning, she was gone. <laughs>